guys what's up how are you i hope that you guys are having an amazing one today if you're new to my channel hi my name is jarell and in today's video we are going to be playing with a new brand florist and we are going to be trying this brand i'm super super excited let me just show you because they kindly send out so many goodies for me to try i went ahead and remove all of the packaging just to make it a little bit easier for me but i was very impressed how everything was like nicely packed super careful just to avoid any kind of breakage which it is super Super important for me and I know that it is for a lot of you guys as well. Florces is a Chinese brand and I'm super excited to just dig in and play with all of these products but I do want to let you guys know that I am going to link everything down below in the description area just in case you guys are interested. They're not affiliated but if at any point in time they actually become affiliated I am going to let you guys know down in the description area but so far they're not. So just to let you guys know I am going to be keeping it of course a 100% super honest because that is what we do here in this channel. Just how I am super honest with my other reviews. I want to give you the best information just in case you decide to purchase anything. I really want to be like a 100% because I don't want you to be disappointed. So let's go ahead and get into the video. But before we do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also like this video because that definitely helps out my channel so much. And you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video and without further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead and start with this one right here, which is the cleansing oil. If you travel a lot and you don't want to take something like this, for example, just to remove your makeup because you're not trying to use any wipes, this one is going to be your best friend just because they are individually packed and it's super, super cute. I thought that it was just, again, super innovative. But if you do not travel, you can actually just try something like this. This is a cleansing oil and I did try it. I did film a, another video a couple of days ago and and at the end of the night, I just decided to give it a go just to test it out. And I am very, very happily with it just because it did not leave any residue. It didn't feel like it was too much. A little bit goes a long way. It removed all of my makeup. It was easy to just do my double cleansing for that night. So I definitely really enjoy this one. I'm going to continue on using it. So I'm thinking that this one is actually sold separately because it is a stopper. It just makes it look super, super cute. And I really do enjoy that now. All right, guys. So let's Let's go ahead and move on to the makeup because that is the most exciting part for me. So let's go ahead and start with an eyeshadow palette. I mean, hello, if you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love eyeshadow. So here we have it. This is the color story for the palette. Super beautiful. Again, packaging on point and the design that it gives you, it is amazing. This one is called the Floral Engraving Phoenix Makeup Palette and it retails for $59. So here we have the swatches. The only one that I felt a little bit crumbly was this green one. And this one, it actually is showing like against the lights really nicely, but it is a little bit sheer. It doesn't have a strong base to it. So let's go ahead and get into the look. Using my hourglass to prime my eyes. Oh my gosh, they have names, but they're all in Chinese. <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna be able to say that i am going to use this shade right here and i'm going to use that on my crease so i'm going to use this on my lower lashes on my crease just really buffing it and i'm blending it up so just standing it out a little bit but not too 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 much just to make sure that we create that lifted effect all right with the same brush i'm going to take the darker brown i'm going to tap this in the outer corner just doing a little stamping motion and then blending the edges with the other shade that we have already applied so because we're playing with this palette i am going to take this purpley shade right here and i'm going to use it just to add a little bit of rosiness in the inner part of our crease connecting everything on the crease like that so this color is definitely showing up all of them are blending really really nicely with the other shades that we already have on our lid which that is always a plus. So now what I'm gonna do is take this golden shade right here with my finger and I'm going to add it on our lid. This is beautiful. Oh, I like that. That is so pretty, so beautiful. Okay, let's continue on playing because I, I like what we're doing. So I am going to take this purpley shade right here and I'm going to add it to the inner corner and just bringing it up to meet with the purpley shade that we have 
on our crease and just marry in those two colors together. I'm stamping the color and then just sweeping it up, sweeping it up. I am absolutely loving this look. Let me go ahead and just clean my under eyes really quickly. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to play with this palette again because this orange and this blue, I know that it's going to be like an amazing combination. I absolutely love that combo, but I also want to play with this green. I want to add more colors to this look, but I think it is just perfect and I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm going to stop right here. So far, I am really impressed with all of the eyeshadows that I used today. I cannot wait to try it again. The matte blended super nice. The pigmentation is definitely there, but it's not full on pigmentation where you might be a little bit too worried to, okay, what do I do with all this pigmentation? How am I going to blend it out? So it is definitely a beginner friendly palette in my opinion but i'm really excited to continue on playing with this palette again i am going to do my base off camera and then i'm going to come back so we can continue on playing with some new makeup all right so here we have the florist's gorgeous peach blossom silk powder but i'm going to see if there's any difference right here in the outer part of my face because i did not add it too much and this is how the powder looks let me see if it's creating a little bit of blurriness okay so this powder doesn't have any glowiness or anything like that i do really like how this powder just sets the face and it actually made everything really nice and blurry the only thing that i want to say is just to add an eyeshadow glue or something like that to prevent from the eyeshadow just to fall down down to your face because I do see a little bit of glitter on the face but it's from the eyeshadows anyway so now moving on to bronzing the skin this one is called the Eastern Beast sculpting makeup palette and it retails for $49 all right so I'm going to start with this shade right here and it's definitely not a bronzer because there's not a lot of warmth to it it's really just to give your cheeks some dimension to really sculpt them out so it is going to really help you out like chisel those cheekbones look at that hello cheekbones wow Okay. Yeah, the only thing is that it's actually picking up a little bit of the other products nearby. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Whenever you are dipping into the palette, just make sure that you're only dipping on the color that you want. Look at that. That's, that's chiseled. That's chiseled right there. So really using this powder for my benefit right here, making sure that I have some definition on my jawline. And it's not too gray for my skin tone. It's not too purple, but it's definitely a contour shade. Just in case I didn't stress that enough, it is. So I went ahead and used a different bronzer. I am going to link everything down below in the description area, like I mentioned from the beginning. Um, but I did need a little bit of warmth in my skin. So I went ahead and just added a little bit of a different bronzer. But anyways, now going back with this palette, I do want to test out the highlighters, but I also have another highlighter here. And they also provided me with a new blush, which I'm super, super excited for. So let's go ahead and talk about this little blush right here, which is brand Brand new this is a blush that you can actually use on your eyes as well as on your cheeks and this one is called the peony dream cream blush and it retails for $26 and this is the shade I went ahead and used it already it is so beautiful here's a little swatch for you guys really nice and delicate so I am going to put this blush on and then I'm going to top it off with the blush that we have on the palette and you can see how beautiful and soft is it's a little bit too soft for this look in my opinion but I am going to just give you a really nice swatch of it and then I'm going to add the other terracotta kind of blush on top of it. So beautiful, super, super beautiful. Like perfect for every single day, just adding a little bit of blush to the skin. If you don't want any shine, any like dewiness to your skin, you want it to be a little bit more mattifying, especially if you are oily or if you're just looking for that matte, like perfected kind of look, then this blush is going to be your best friend. Again, this is not my first impressions. I already use this blush and it's a really nice long lasting blush as well. Super nice. It blends to the skin really nicely. It works right on top of powder or your set skin already which is also super super nice but I am going to add a little bit of this shade right on top of it and you can see that it's a little bit more pigmented it also has a little bit more of a warm undertone I love this here's a cream blush by itself you can see how by adding this blush right here right on top of it it gives you so much warmth to the skin and this one also has a little bit of a glow to it which is also very nice and it just complements this makeup look that we have going on so nicely. The pigmentation is so nice, buildable, is blending like a dream, is making my skin look perfected. Oh, 
I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this palette. Like right here, this face palette I am in love with. I am going to try this highlighter right here. This one right here is not a highlighter. It's actually a powder. I didn't realize that. So you can definitely use this to like to brighten your under eyes. I'm not going to use it for anything right now, but I, I did wanted to just point that out to you guys. And I am going to use this highlighter on this cheek and then another highlighter that they also sent to me, which is also super beautiful, but it has a different undertone. So let's go ahead and start with this one on this cheek. I haven't used a highlighter in such a long time, so it feels weird, but look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. I'm not going to add too much. I might, I'm just going to blend it out. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Stunning. Do you guys see that? Do you see this? That is beautiful. Beautiful. Let me just give you a swatch of the highlighter. Oh my goodness, do you see that? So they also send this highlighter right here and it's more of a rosy version of it, which I think it will look really, really nice with this look. But I do want to give you a swatch of it as well, right on top of this one. So you can see that this one, it's a little bit deeper. It's a little bit more rosy comparing it to the one on the bottom. That's a little bit more golden icy. I'm going to use this highlighter on this cheek. It already has a really nice glow. Oh my goodness, but that is so beautiful. I love the formula of them. Look at that, that's beautiful. See how this one is a little bit more icy comparing it to this one. It's a little bit more warm. There's a little bit more rosiness to it. Super gorgeous. I mean, either or, <laughs> they're gonna be fantastic, but yeah. I know we're like staying away from highlighter, but I cannot get enough of how beautiful the cheekbones actually look. By the way, the packaging, it's absolutely beautiful, but it's really, really lightweight. It's not super heavy. Um, again, the designs of the packagings are very like intricate, really nice, well done. I mean, I think that from far away, you would think that it's a really nice, heavy luxury product, but it's a little bit of a lighter weight, just making sure that you guys know all of the details but i'm still i mean it's really nice beautiful made so really happy with all of the packaging and the formula really really nice so i do have these four lipsticks i mean again i'm packaging this one's a little bit heavier <laughs> for sure um it has like a keychain to it super super nice this one is a lipstick you go ahead and press this and the lipstick comes out. I'm super happy that they send a nude lipstick just because those are my go-to and I think that this one is definitely going to complement my skin tone. And they also send this shade right here which is going to be perfect, perfect for fall. I don't think that this shade is going to go with this look and neither is going to be the nudie one. I mean, we can always make the nudie one work, but I do want to try this one's right here. So if you're looking for something that is going to give you like a really nice tint to your lips that is super super lightweight then this ones are going to be it they're really nice and comfortable the only thing that i do not like about these ones right here is that they smell like roses or very florally and that is just not my vibe so if you are not into that you're not going to like this ones this one i think is the one that i'm going to be using for this look just because it's like super mauve really nice and beautiful. It's going to go perfect. And here is the lipstick. And here is the nude lipstick. Just wanted to show you the swatches so you guys can see them and have an idea. Um, again, I am going to use this one. All right, I'm going to line my lips really quickly and then we're going to move on to this mauve one. So here is the lip stain. I mean, how beautiful is that? I think that it just goes with the look, but I am going to add a little bit of a mascara, gather my thoughts, and then I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling about all of these products. So I went ahead and put mascara, but I also went to pick up my children because I didn't realize that it was time for me to go and pick up my kids. I also changed my shirt, so just in case you noticed that. I also wanted to show you the swatches from earlier because these ones right here are just the stains i don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up but there's definitely a stain even with the lipstick or the liquid ones that i use for this look right here so here is the final look now with a mascara and everything and i did touch up just with the powder a little bit because it is super hot outside but i do gotta say that overall the brand i'm very impressed with i'm very very happy with all of the products that i try today so let's go ahead and talk about the first makeup product that i use for today 
today's video and it is the eyeshadow palette it's super nice packaging i just can't get over it and also the mirror it's really fantastic very useful and the eyeshadows i mean you can definitely create so many different looks with this palette you can definitely stay a little bit more on the purpley side you can have your fun with the greens and the blues you can definitely stay a little bit more neutral more grounded with your browns and the golden one you can even take it a little bit further to just add a little bit more coolness with this silver one you know you can take it so many different ways in the formula based on the swatches and as well as me using the product just for today and this is just a first impressions but based on my first impressions the quality is definitely there i do really like it these two brands are really nice because they are not too warm or too cool they are right there in the middle which it works so well with the other shades that you do have in the palette even with the burgundy shade right here I, I i thought that they were going to clash a little bit but it just works so nicely and i'm like really really into this look and i already got a compliment when i went to pick up my toddler she's like oh i like what you did there <laughs> so that is always nice but anyway the next product that we have is the powder and i thought that this one was going to like create a white cast or you know it was going to be a little bit too light for me but it actually works it's really nice and the formula is super interesting because it is super 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 thin it feels very soft very slick i don't know how to explain it but it is a really nice formula it's definitely a powder that i see myself reaching for and taking with me for touch-ups when it comes to the face palette i mean you guys saw my reaction i don't even have to say much about it because it is really stunning i i am going to be um trying this shade next because i didn't realize that it was actually a powder so this is going to be a little bit better for me to use as a setting powder or maybe under the eyes just to brighten the center of my face because it has that yellowness to it which i absolutely love i mean that is the perfect shade to give me that brightness in the center of my face and the highlighter you guys already know super beautiful super soft it is the same consistency as the powder that i was just talking about like very slick very silky kind of feel to it blush i don't even have to say much i absolutely love this blush it is so beautiful on the skin it's just nice and buildable and it gives you a really nice beautiful glow to the skin i mean so beautiful i am really really looking forward to using this palette again really beautiful palette i absolutely love it super recommended and now i understand why is one of the best sellers that they have really totally worth it when it comes to this rose gold highlighter i mean do i even have to say it it's absolutely beautiful now i'm not reaching for highlighters lately just because i really enjoy a glowy blush and that i am satisfied with that but if i was to reach for a highlighter i'm definitely going to be reaching for these two right here just because they have made like a something in my mind that i will remember them and whenever i am looking for a rose gold highlighter this one is definitely the one that i'm pulling out first just because it's really nice and smooth it's not overly emphasizing any of my texture it's just it looks super beautiful i mean super nice so now moving on to this new product which is the cream blush i really do like it it's super beautiful for like everyday kind of blush that's exactly how i used it the first time and i think it's actually on my last video that i have that blush on my skin which i was not even wearing mascara on that video and this one is the only thing that i do have on my cheeks i don't even have bronzer or anything like that it's just this blush again it's just for those everyday kind of looks just to add a little bit of color to your cheeks a little bit of peachiness like pinkiness and i used it with a synthetic brush just so you guys know because i think that it picks up the product really nice it did not disturb any of the foundation the powder or anything that i had on my skin so i really did like everything i haven't tried the lipsticks yet um i am going to try it maybe on a shorts for you guys but i swatch it for you guys so you guys can see the pack packaging is super beautiful i mean i can see myself going out to dinner with my mom and my sisters and i just pull out my lipstick and they're gonna be like excuse me what do you have there <laughs> just because it is a super unique and i absolutely love that so so cute so cute now when it comes to these right here which is one of the shades that i am wearing which is the lighter shade i do gotta say that they are so beautiful on the lips like it gives you a really nice shine and as the shine is wearing off it is definitely leaving a really nice beautiful stain it does build up so it looks really nice and even it's not patchy or anything like that which is super important with stains the only thing is that i noticed since i left to pick up my kid is that it 
it just built up a little bit on the drier area so just watch out for that make sure that you are exfoliating your lips if you are going to end up picking up this one and the other thing that I do have to mention again is that it does have a really strong floral scent and you end up feeling it on the back of your throat or that's the way that I feel it I actually started like tasting it on the back of my throat and I do not like that so I mean even though the color is beautiful the formula is really really nice just you know remembering to exfoliate your lips and adding this one they are they're looking nice I mean the lips are looking nice and fresh and super like you know plump but just keep those things in mind are you going to be able to tolerate the scent of it are you going to be able to tolerate the taste of it so just make sure that you keep those in mind even though they are the best seller and I understand why they are the best sellers because sometimes you know those things are not important for others it just doesn't matter to them even though I love this I just I can I can I can <laughs> I can with the taste and I can with the scent of it. It's just a little bit too much for me. But you guys, that is it for this video. I know that it's going to be a long one just because I'm trying to be like super detailed. I don't want to miss any information of all the things that I'm experiencing with this brand just in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products. Again, I am going to link everything down below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time.